Hello and welcome to another episode of my F122 career mode. Here today we're at the Belgium Grand Prix and I have decided to bring back a little bit of live commentary. I'll still be trying to give context to the race as well, but here is the live commentary for qualifying. Now we're going to Murray. We'll be out of in time for us to go into the bus stop. There's a benchmark from Carlos Sainz. We are going to come up to the line now. That's an application for the book. It's free. Oh, we can see it. It's a bit like a little bit like that. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining there. This is the final comment. Here we go. This is the one that's for pole position, not P12. Mark my words. In a 1 minute and 44 seconds time. P4. Okay, that'll do. My pole, but that'll do. Race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Brown, Max Verstappen, and Russell, Hamilton, Perez, Oscar Piastri, and Pierre Gasly, Magnussen, Stroll, Alex Albert, and Sonoda, Schwartzman, Ocon. Guan Yu Zhou and Fernando Alonso. Latifi and Mick Schumacher. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. So it's the same mod random one stop, but you can see there, there is a chance of rain in the middle. Around 63% I think it said. We're aiming for science because we're now 20 points behind him after that shocker of British Grand Prix. After we briefly took the lead of the championship, and we've only three races to go after this, it is very, very important that we do get it back. So, no one wants to top. It's essentially what it's turned into this season. It's McLaren v Ferrari. The race in there in Spa, we've got another shot, kind of a start. It's been nice, but it looks like a friend. That. Oh no, that's science. Science has had a shocker. Science has had a shocker. And now we've slipped down. We're only slipped down one position. And now science and Verstappen are going to go side by side. No, they're not. Through their bridge. Max backs out of that one. Now Leclerc leads the Grand Prix. He's had an absolute mega start from P3. Now we are going to send it to the inside of Max and Carlos Sides, but Sides is going to come back up the inside of us. There's a thing now with Sides, though, it was nice for Stappen. We are up into P3. Leclerc leads from Lando, from me, from Max for Stappen. And then it's Carlos Sides, and I think it is Lewis Hamilton. On to lap 5 now, and this is a great camera angle as Pierre Gasly in the Alfa Tauri is pulling over and out of the Belgian Grand Prix. Come on, we've got the exit, we've got a good exit, this is it. Both of them done and dusted just there. by Lando and uh, by Leclerc or oh, stepping out that was a great move for the so, 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 but it's not over yet Lando at my inside we just flicked both of them through the gap beautiful maybe a little bit of argy bargy with Leclerc but Ten of them in one go. So you can see the clouds are getting darker, the rain is definitely coming, but this is a replay of the move that we did on Lando and Leclerc. So we gave up to the breeze past our teammate. And then we saw the gap to the inside and decided to send it to the inside of Leclerc. Then he dropped the back end and as it was ready to try his hardest to get away from us, but just about held it. So this is what it looked like from Lando's point of view then. He pulls out the slipstream from Leclerc 
and then he was just a sitting duck and threw humans on him. But he did help him to get past Leclerc, which makes his now McLaren 1 2 in this race. And there was a tiny bit of contact between us, tire face to tire face, but we both carried on and it was all good. So essentially, Leclerc then, this is his on board, just getting double teamed by us. We really do get Archie Bargy with Leclerc and he loses out to both of us. The note, he is on the soft tyres and me and Lando are both on the mediums and at the end of lap 8 he is in Leclerc I didn't realise at the time where he'd gone but him and Verstappen you can see in the background there as well both started on the soft tyres so they've committed themselves to an early stop and if the rain does come they are really going to be out of it they've both gone on to the mediums at least Leclerc eyes of what I can see there and let's see what their pace is like me and Lando stay out on the mediums for now as they found a good gap to come into Trent's a going now but if we can drag these out five minutes what's that so it's basically that's a, what about two and a half laps Max that thirteen. We've got to stay out. You should overtake button more. It's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. I dare look at those tires though, I do look a bit angry. I think when it does rain, it's going to rain hard. It looks like rain is inbound and we're expecting it in around five minutes. Five minutes till the rain. So with the rain coming, there was only really one option for us. Stay out until it comes. But Lando had other ideas and at the end of lap 11, he is pitting to make his one and only stop, but more than likely two if this rain does come down and he is going to be going on to the hard tyres so interestingly Ferrari think they can go a very long way on mediums after starting on the softs and McLaren don't think so so as Leclerc comes around the first corner the giant overcut has worked for Lando and he beats out then Leclerc and Verstappen only just though as he goes through our rouge There it is. There's the rain. Or is that just my no that, that's it. That's rain. The beauty. That is rain. Yes, we've done it. Right. Hopefully that means. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Is there any trying to get into this? No, that's hard, but no. Don't want them. Stop trying to put me up to the hearts. You should try to tell me that it's not going to get wetter. So, as the DRS is disabled, you can see the state of the tyres there. They're literally about to pop. I'm well, surprised they didn't. But as we come in, we're going to put on the Inters. We have done the strategy once again as we trundle down the pit lane now we are going to go into the inters it may take a couple of laps as Mark tried his hardest to put us onto the hard tyre eventually he got the message and we are on inters the rain is coming down and we'll see if this is the right option 
They are going to come out behind Lando, Leclerc, Verstappen and Sainz and we've only just beaten out George Russell. So the hard tyres of Sainz are gone on this very slippery and wet track now and our Inters have got some tyre temperature into them now and are very strong. It is in decent conditions now and we have to make this count while we can. We are pushing Sainz through a region over the top of Radion and we are pulling to the inside of him and we are going to overtake him. Sainz is struggling as hard as we breeze past him on our inters that are now up to speed. So now we can look at those ahead as we did overtake Sainz and here they are coming into the pits all on the dry tyres. Lando is in, Leclerc is in, Staff is in and that is going to mean that we are going to take the lead the Belgian Grand Prix back after the pit stops and they've messed up and we've once again done the strategy and once again we have played the strategy to perfection just like we did in Mexico pretty much the rain was coming, everyone pitted but we stayed out, we hung on to tie us up we were as dead as a day day, we were crawling around this truck and the rain came, put on the inters, it took a lap to warm up but it was the right call in the end and now as long as we don't put it in the wall we're looking very good for another win this season we went to the park best stop chicane for the final time we have dealt with everything the weather we played the strategy and that means we are going to win the belgian grand prix many doubted whether they could pull off the win here at spa francochon but they've done so in spectacular style Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? It's a heroic effort for any drivers to race in conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and have the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into the first place here today. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure. And no doubt, they'll be celebrating tonight. So then we have done it, we've won the Belgian Grand Prix. Strategic Masterclass very reminds me very much of our first win in Mexico last season for Aston Martin. When rain was on its wrong way and we hung out there on tyres that were dying and the rain came and we went on to win the race and that's pretty much what happened here we did have to fight for a bit more here than we did in mexico but we got the job done on lando and leclerc we kept them behind and sailed off into the sunset when the rain came down it's a great result for mclaren though for us as a team one two I think that's the second one two of the season after monaco i think leclerc getting on the podium after his DNF last time out at Suicide. Max getting a decent result, but he's also getting the fastest lap as well. Science not a good result down in P6. That means that we have slashed the lead that he has in the driver's standings. We'll get onto that in just a second. Lewis Hamilton? I don't remember seeing Hamilton retire. Lewis Hamilton retired from the Grand Prix apparently. 
You know about Peter Gasly, I don't remember seeing Hamilton pop up. In terms of off the standings then we are now three points behind Carlos Sainz with just three rounds to go. He goes into then the Italian Grand Prix as the championship leader. But can we spoil the party for the Tifosi? Leclerc is still P3, Lando is still P4, but 27 points off the top now. The two Red Bulls level on points, Max just ahead of Perez. And there's still three drivers yet to score in Joe, Schumacher and Swartzman. In terms of the constructors then, we have a little dent in Ferrari's championship lead. We're now 13 points behind. We've got a great 73 point gap back to Red Bull. Mercedes in fifth, battling Alpine. And Aston Martin and Williams both level on three points and Alfa Romeo still yet to score. For the first time in a very, very, very long while, Ferrari go into the Italian Grand Prix, topping both championships. But it only takes a good result from me and from Lando and the table could turn. I could be top of the champion drivers championship and we could be top of the constructors as well. I have to wait and see in the next episode what will happen at the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. But until that one, I hope you enjoyed this race. Yeah, another one in our Formula 1 career and I will see you in the next one.